last video, we left off just completing the sale of our home. Well, she sold. Last time stepping foot on our old home in Richardson Road. Time for new adventures. So with a little bit of summer left, we decided to sail on over to Thetis Island. January rain is calling I can feel a warm embrace I don't know if I can do this Get me on the next airplane Somewhere where the weather's warmer Kahului to Lahaina Promise that I won't forget you Promise that I'll always find you I can be your January Take you away from all the pain We can do anything We even kept Will busy at the Yacht Club with a sailing course. I'm well, just here at the old spot, just doing the final clean, getting the last couple items out. I'm gonna miss this yard. There's the old tiki bar, all cleaned out, ready for uh, the next people. Hot tub. Moving upstairs. Best kitchen we've ever had, and probably ever will have. Yeah. Amazing kitchen. We did so much to this house while we were here. Floors, windows, new kitchen, renovated the ensuite, painted pretty much everything. Master bedroom with a nice view. Will's old school in the background, Cinnabar Valley Elementary. Definitely gonna miss the area. Lots of green. Lots of friends. We are definitely gonna miss our friends in the area. No more Friday night barbecue, walking back and forth from home to home, saying hi and having cocktail hour. No more big groups and parties in the backyard, pissing off the neighbors from the tiki bar, blaring music way too late at night. Those days are behind us now. We're gonna miss this place. It was very good to us. We put a lot of work into it. I'm sure the new people are going to love it as well. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's four! So as the summer came to an end and the fall season started to roll in, we started to switch gears and look at getting rid of our therapy and looking for a new boat. Well, it did not take long at all for a new owner to pick up our therapy as quickly as we had. So after looking at a couple boats, we did find one we were interested in. We had a survey done, and now it's time for the sea trial. The boat was located in Victoria, about an hour and a half away. So we're off to Victoria to go do a sea trial on a 37 and a half foot um, 1985. So we've already done the survey. We're just on the top of Malahat now. Uh, a couple weeks back when I was rolling through to go do the survey, uh, we've got almost two feet of snow at the top here. It's only a thousand feet above uh, sea level from Duncan or Cowichan Valley over to Victoria, but still the weather can be the shits. The Malahat looks clear today. But yesterday, it was chaos. Yeah, yesterday, so crazy. Thumbs up. No, it's not snowing. <laughs> it's not snowing. We're hoping for sunnier weather, but... Um, I don't know, the sun keeps poking out, sun, rain. We may get lucky. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be there shortly, and then uh, yeah, hopefully the weather's cooperating, and we'll take the boat out for a little rip, test the systems, and uh, fingers crossed everything goes well. And then the next, Part, we'll be doing the outer water survey in Canoe Cove in a couple weeks or a week or so and then seal the deal. All right, day two. <laughs> All right, we arrived. Uh, we're just going to walk down to the boat now, mask up, and um, yeah, see how it goes. 
so the boat was moored at a private dock in the Esquimalt Harbour. The interior was very clean. It needed a little updating, but very nice. So the weather did decide to cooperate, and it was a lot of fun just going around the harbour, testing out the motor, playing with some of the systems, and walking around the nice wide teak decks. So we just finished the sea trial um, of the... We're not saying the name of the boat? No, no, it's a secret. Okay. Uh, we just finished the sea trial <laughs> of the potential boat that we are looking to buy. Um, what'd you think? I liked it. Um, we unfortunately weren't able to actually sail it. Jay the broker uh, had never sailed the boat before and is sailing for a family friend. Um, so he was hesitant to take it out of the harbor because I guess the water and the waves can get a little bit uh, out right. of control. So. But I, I do wonder what he thought you meant when you said take it out for a test sail. Beer run? Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I can't knock him. It's the no. safe way to go. He had never sailed the boat before. Uh, we were just a little bit surprised that we weren't actually going to put the sails up and run it through its paces. Uh, we uh, The uh, head sail does not work currently because there's a problem with the furling system, but we did know that. And uh, we're hoping that it's a... Not too much of a repair, no. but we'll get into that if everything passes the other water survey. Sure. And we saw recent photos um, with the head sail out. It looks to be in good condition. Yeah. I don't think Recent maintenance problems. and stitching. and yeah. yeah. So hopefully it's just a bearing or just a little bit of TLC or mm -hmm. a hammer. <laughs> but how did you find it on the water? I liked it. Mm -hmm. Having the uh, wheel at the helm was awesome. It was very responsive. The steering was tight. Mm -hmm. Faster. Faster, yeah. And very stable. stable. Very yeah. stable. Like Being a bigger boat, I think, yeah. we're used to that rocking. Yeah, like I would lean over on the 27 and like everyone's yeah. like, whoa! <laughs> so, yeah, this one, much heavier boat. So, yeah, I liked it. And But still, I went out and played with it and was able to see how far it would drift and coast. And, it, you know, it, it's really good. Handles well, yeah. Yeah, handles very well. He was able to articulate it out of that little marina they had oh yeah yeah, yeah it yeah. was tight mm -hmm. and uh he, yeah he did that well yeah good job that. jay great job jay <laughs> great job our surveyor that did the inwater will just do a run out there and check the hull keel um and rudder and prop and bearing and anything uh, you know in the water stuff that could be an issue and if there's anything serious then we'll squash the deal but uh, if everything goes as we anticipate it will um we'll sign the papers and pay for it yeah bring it home to nanaimo so in the middle of figuring everything else out, disaster struck. Hey, so how's your Monday going, Peg? Uh, it's a little rough. How so? <laughs> that might explain it. Oh. I don't think that's going to buff out. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like the looks of it so much, but... Yeah, it's a buck seventy cheaper than the other marina. So at Stones Marina now, um, looking much better already <laughs> with Carlos O'Brien's uh, waterfront pub right there, and uh, just the you know the dock looks really nice and nice and clean. I'm scared. Yeah, so boat houses, Irish pub, there's the boat yard with haul out. Right over there we have a boat store.
So the big day had finally come. We had a good weather window and the marina had availability, so we sailed the boat over for the final inspection. So as we had hoped, the boat passed inspection. We were now the proud owners of a 1985 Beneteau First 375. She is a French-built masthead sloop with a displacement of 15,000 pounds. All right, so the process of buying the boat has been, we're the very first people to find it online. So we're able to negotiate a refundable deposit in case there's anything majorly wrong with it and then move on with the process. So with COVID and Christmas, it was very tricky. So what we had decided to do was an in-water survey with, a, with our surveyor we had employed. So they would do the in-water portion, the easy portion, to make sure there was no major issues. Next step was to do a sea trial. And uh, so we had the broker run us through and did a bit of a sea trial, make sure there was no issues there as well, and that had passed. So the last step, because of the distance from where the boat was moored to the closest haul out, was the out of water survey. We had our surveyor come back to site, check the keel, the rudder, the prop, the shaft, and all the other in water portions to make sure there's no issues and that had passed. So the next step was making the purchase. We would do the paperwork, sign over the money, the money order, and then followed by that, the next step would be to get insurance. So now that we actually own the vessel, we would shop around for the best insurance rates, get that done, followed by finding mortgage in Nanaimo. So after having the insurance, the next step was to get that done. And now our current state is we own the boat, we have insurance, we have mortgage in Nanaimo, and we get to sail at home. So this is super exciting for us, and that will be our next video. Cheers. Don't forget, like and subscribe. January rain is calling I can feel a warm embrace I don't know if I can do this Get me on the next airplane Somewhere where the weather's warmer Kahului to Lahaina